Hello, so now I'm going to go through how to set up a fast static survey style. So a uh, survey style, like I already talked about, is simply the settings you put in to tell the hardware how you're going to use it. Okay, so the first step is going to be settings and survey styles. So again, this is for fast static, fast static operations. So I'm going to go new. I have RTK one in here. I might as well leave that because I'm going to be creating a fast static one. So new. Fast static. Style type is going to be GNSS. Press accept. And again, we have all these options. So we're going to go through each one of these uh, the same way we do with any other style. So first up is... Rover options, select rover options, survey type, fast static, and pretty much just letting that default, and we'll go to the next page. It's going to be Zephyr, top of notch, and the antenna height is going to be a question mark. If you have the serial number for whatever receiver you're using, you can put that in here. Again. For fast static operations, that's when you put out um, three tripods. Um, you set it up just like you would a base station, and then you manually measure from the fine point of aim that you're plumb over to the top of the antenna notch, the actual notch on it. So every time you set up one, you should be manually identifying what the height is and keying that in. So we'll go to page three. We do not want GPS L2C. We do not want GLONASS. Press accept. Now we have a lot less options, which is nice. So we'll go to base options now. Survey type is going to be fast static. We'll let this all default. The antenna type is Zephyr 2. Next page. Top of notch. Again, antenna height. That's a manual thing we do every time. Uh, the Zephyr serial number, the antenna serial number you put there. Uncheck L2C. On the last page, we do not want to use GLONASS. So we'll press accept. Then we'll go to fast static point. So fast static point. And we can select whether or not we want to auto store the point or not. The only difference is after you measure one, you're either manually pressing store or it's going to store once it hits the desired time frame. Okay, so then down here, we're going to let these default as well. So this is just based on the number of satellites that your base station has for the fast static, how long it's going to take to mark a position. Um, so we'll just leave it as is and press accept. Then the last one, Laser rangefinder, not even a thing that we use for GPSS. So then all we do is press store, and there it is, fast static. So now I could go set up my three uh, base stations. Two of them would be over known points, known high order SCPs, and the third one would be over a point that I'm trying to recover or establish. Uh, I'd set them all up, turn them on at the same time, start measuring. Once they all hit that same time frame, uh, whether it's the, the 20 minutes, the, the, what is it, the 20 minutes, the 15 minutes, or the 8 minutes, once they're done and I store that information, then I would take all three TSE3s, put them in the post-processing, and that's how I would actually get my, uh, my fast static data. It's the most accurate, but it takes the most time. And contrary to popular belief, you do not need radios for fast static. It's not even a thing. Okay. So again, if you have any questions or feel like uh, you got better ways to do these things, please let me know. Have a good day.